Hello friends, in this video I am going to record how to install PyQt 5 or 6 with the with the Qt designer in Windows 11. So for that we need to go to start menu in Windows 11 and type command cmd a command from now here in my system I have installed both the versions of Python with the python launcher ok so in my system I can do py2 to get into the python2 interpreter and if I type py and press enter then I can go into the python3 interpreter ok so now how we will run pip and install pyqt5 for python3 ok so for that what i will do i will write like this then py m p i n s t a double install pyqt5 we need to write this ok so if you write this and press enter it will install the pyqt whatever is required and as because in my system i have already installed so this will be installed in the c user shoes app data roaming python site packages ok so all these three things will be installed pyqt pyqt ship and pyqt5 qt5 there are all supporting files so this is one way you can install another way if you have pycharm using so you can go to the settings and in the settings see here also we have so you can click on here plus sign and type pyqt5 and after that just select this package already i have installed so it's showing in blue so after that you will just install package it will go to the same folder same destination where we will install from here also see that this is the thing what i need to show and record see c user shoes my username app data roaming python in, in this python 3.9 i am using site packages all will go inside if you if we install from command prompt or from this pycharm id ok so the next thing is we need to install this we have to write pyqt5 in small and then tools this is the thing this is pyqt5 tools we have to write and this will install the uh, qt designer for us so if i click also it will say it's already got installed this qt application qt tools pyqt5 for this thing and these are already installed from the previous installation of pyqt5 this pyqt5 equals to 5.15.4 this is also installed this and tools all are in the same path ok now if i go back here so you can see i can import all the pyqt5 modules to start working with my project so now if i try to run this also it will run ok so this is how it will run everything this is, this is i am working now it's, now the thing is the qt designer so i don't have anything here for the qt designer but here i have in one of the chapter this is one of the qt files so if i double click this this one going to open here so if we want we can go to this particular folder this is 
C user they again updated on the same folder site packages. Now we have to go to the Qt application. So site packages from here we have to go to the Qt applications. In here we have to go to Qt bean and this designer. If you double click this thing, then the Qt designer will open for us. So this is in Windows how we can install and work. Now the second thing is. Another thing I just want to record is how we can integrate or tell not exactly integration but tell PyCharm to open the file for us in Qt Designer. So one thing if we can go here and we can create a shortcut or pin to start whatever you want to do uh, after running also if we want we can uh, pin to taskbar also whatever is required we can do but if you don't want that and want your qt designer to open from open the file from here uh, in pycharm then we have to do few more things like if you double click it won't going to work but if you want you can create an external tool which will open this file in qt designer like this okay so how we are going to do this so that i will show you that suppose i am creating one test dot ui file which will show here and now if I try to open so this is a test file okay first let's go with this now in the settings we'll have to come to tools external tools here we need to create by adding like this we need to create one external tool entry so we need to create one tool so this is the thing I have named it Qt designer and described is open uh, Qt design UI files then what we have to do we have to go to this path one more time shift right click copy as path and put it here without the without these quotations okay so if you put it here and then we will have to put the argument this is a file directory from where this file is been called and with the slash this slash we need to put manually and with the file name and this will uh, test.ui will be the file name here and working directory is the project file directory that is fine it will automatically take and if you click ok here then this tool will be create uh, this will be created and it will show up whenever you will right click and go to the external tools otherwise you don't this external tools don't be showing up if you don't create that step before so if i click on this now as because this the file does not contain anything not even the format of uh, the qt designer so what we can do we can create a new forum of main window or anything whatever we want like this also and if we do create and we need if we need if we can save this thing like wherever i was working this thing only if i save this thing and now next time whenever i will see now this thing already is showing so if i double click this it is not going to open but if i click on this external editor it will open and whatever changes we will make it will be saved so if i save this thing right now and reopen see the changes have been saved so this is how we can able to integrate qt designer with the pycharm id if i drag and drop in any of the in this open in this open space then it will show the what they call qml that qml version of the file 
see this is QML plugin by QT designer so from here also we can install from here also we can install uh, with this command same thing and one more thing is there I will just show so previously we have to convert this thing with the uh, in, with one script uh, provided by Qt one not on one application that will convert this UI file to py but now what we can do we can go to the forum view this thing and we can save this thing as UI test dot py so if I save this thing it will become a py file now and now we can see this thing already this is this thing we can now this thing came with PySide 2 okay we will also install PySide 2 uh, in Windows 11 from PyCharm so that all that only I will show you I have already PyQt uh, with the PyQt designer tools and everything now I will just install PySide PySide 2 in my system like this it will take some time to install PySide 2 this is why it is saying installing this is also showing and it got installed successfully so this is how we are going to install packages we can install through from here also the same thing but I feel like this is very much convenient for me to install it from this iCharm package installer so now here you can see that PySide 2 is also got installed and we can import PySide 2 also anything from PySide 2 also fine Anything I can I can put anything and work on this. So we'll do one thing QT GUI uh, copy as QT GUI if we do and if we try see again both Pi QT5 and Pi side to parallelly I am running and showing that things are working like this so this is it guys thank you